Hello everybody, it's John from Divasol Gamers. Today's game is a 3v3. It's John, which is not me, uh, as you can tell by his... He has a rank, and he has 1981 UK missing off his name, so that's not me. Uh, Steve and Ben against him. Uh, Desert Fox and Kyle Anderson RB, maybe his clan name or something. I don't know. Uh, this is Paddy Fields. I have asked Ben and Steve, because I've not been playing recently, uh, real life kind of sucks and gets in the way sometimes, so I've not had chance to play the game myself. Now, I'll just quickly show you the markers. Because I've not had the time to play for myself, I've asked Ben and Steve to send me a good game so I can do a video for it. So they sent me this one. It's, as you can see, a 3v3, but I've seen a couple of minutes of the replay and John for some reason quits. Uh, I don't know why. So he's on the left with Ben. I think Ben is going Germans. Uh, John or oh, Euro, Eurocore. I think. Um, and for those of you who aren't too sure, you do not pronounce the P in Eurocore. It's Eurocore, not Eurocorp. So people, it annoys me when people pronounce the P. Don't. Because that's incorrect. Now, for some reason, John's deploying his German units on the right-hand side as well with Steve. I'm thinking maybe his plan is to cover both sides, whereas Steve and Ben can just take one side each, maybe. I don't know. He's deploying plenty of... Everybody's deploying plenty of helicopters. Everybody's going helicopters. Even these guys. Oh, there he goes. Right before the start. This guy's going all ground. With Desert Fox. So anti-helicopter choppers to protect his reconnaissance. Right, so they're going to have to quickly adapt to the plan. Uh, looks like Ben's going to have to take the left and the middle by himself and Steve will have to take the right and the middle. Now because it's not my actual game I'll just leave it on neutral so you, you can see more um, because there's no particular scores to keep track of. So Ben, uh, Steve still has his, oh he's just empty done. So he, he can move this one now without losing alpha which he does. Ben's sending a Mistral and a command to Golf. I don't know the zones yet. And he's calling in a mar four Marder, well, a platoon of Panzer Grenadiers, I guess, in Marders. Helicopters, command squad racing for the, the middle there. This guy's not brought any protection for his helicopters. Steve has a lot of anti chopper choppers here. Seven, uh, five anti helicopter choppers, which just wipe out this dude's stuff. Which makes a change, it's normally the other way around, it's normally packed killing uh, NATO helicopters or blue four, red four killing blue four. They did manage to shoot down one of the transport helicopters, though, which is a shame. The other three make it safely. Oh, that was a Raphael, a Rafale, however you want to call it. Just got shot down, and then the offending plane got shot down as well. There he is. Now, as you can see, Kyle is still moving his command forward, his command squad. Even though he's lost everything, he's not not quit out like most people do. So he's got a command squad moving, and he's bringing up a couple of tanks. However, the Falschenjäger are still strong in the town so they'll be able to manage they'll hold that village quite well uh, Ben's getting the empty helicopters out of there the Mistral's killing the Sokols he had three so he's killed two but unfortunately he's ran out of missiles and Ben is slowly moving his vehicles into position these are Milan's so they'll be able to engage with a really good ATGM. 
Unfortunately, he emptied the Spetsnaz just before the missiles hit. However, these are actually going to be quite good against infantry. They just need to catch them out in the open. There's some expensive units. What's that? That's the Tunguska shooting his Alouette. Now, ben is actually facing quite a strong force on the left. Uh, because they killed the guys on the right, there's not that much here. But Steve's not too bad, I guess. He should be able to handle this. He's got a tiger. He's about to engage the MI-8 TVs with the stingers. Nice. Hopefully the rocket pods can kill the FJB-40s as well. They have anti-aircraft. Uh, Strellas, so he needs to kill them. Falchion Jaegers are still... Oh no, there they go. They were out in the open. They should be able to kill these commandos these quite easily, but the helicopters here with the rockets will be able to do a lot of damage to these guys. Ben's just been double napalmed. Uh, he did lose his Mistral over here to the tank. But fortunately, even though they're against three people, the boys are still plus two. So they are in very much in the lead at the moment. MI8 has been shot down, I guess, by this Gepard. Gepard, Gepard, however you want to pronounce it. The Falchion Jaegers have done quite well, but the helicopter did put the hurt on them. And Ben's guys are putting up quite a fight. Stern Pioneers, never seen these before. I think these must be East German. Have napalm launchers as well. Something big just killed that martyr. These are the basic. Oh, conquers. These are the basic modded ones. Uh, they don't have the ATGs. So that's conquer teams are ranking up now, killing me, so they're going to be slightly more accurate. Deccan's Deccan's group. Let's see how they do. Now these guys are supposed to be OP. Uh, I don't understand why they're not using their good stuff. My understanding was... Oh, here, there they go. I thought they would use their cargo stuffs as well, but they're just using their Uzis. Oh, they didn't do, didn't do as well as what I thought they would. Maybe they've been nerfed. Steve's having a little bit of bother on the right. He's managed to counter this one though, India. Uh, he's forgotten to unload his infantry there. Oh no. If I was him right now I'd be swearing because of that. Fuchs Milan chasing off the Sokol. Uh, ooh, nearly wiped out a section there. This guy, Perk. I'm, I'm going to call him Perk. Uh, he's threatening Ben's command vehicle there. These Spetsnaz are very, very close. I don't know if Ben knows they're there. Lucky they just made it out. ATGMs are engaging with the FAMAS. Killing a few with the. Uh... Let's try to get the gun sounds. Apparently, they changed some of the gun sounds. The Falchion Jaeger just killed the last of the FJB 40 there. 
And Kyle's bringing in some more pioneers. Bez still has the zone for now. Uh, he moved the command vehicle, although he's now getting hit with a napalm and killed by the T-80PV. The Flak Panzers will should be able to do quite well against the Spetsnaz, but they're not going to do anything against the T-80. As you can see, Ben has the Rafale flying over. That has a lot of missiles. And there's four flak tanks against Spetsnaz. Three now because of the Sturm. Two Sturms. Oh, apparently their 40 mils can't do anything against those. And they've just been wiped out. They didn't do very much. Um, yeah, you saw the Klaxon come up then. Lads have nearly won. Uh, these three players, I don't know if they're new or not, but they just didn't push aggressively. I mean, they're as you can see, they're only just capping Juliet now, and also Lima. Now, if they'd have capped those straight away, then they'd have been in the lead, or at least evened it out. That would have given them three more command points, which would have leveled these scores. Falshing Jaeger against Spetsnaz. Uh, unfortunately for this guy, the Spetsnaz were moving, so they didn't get to use their RPO launcher. Uh, Leopard 4 getting uh, totally butthurt by the Conkers there. If these Falsham Jaegers move out into the open, the T-80 might be able to see them. So hopefully he keeps them there. This is the first time that I've watched this replay properly, so I actually don't know what happens. Oh, 40 Falsham Jaeger, they're going to be unstoppable. Well, they lost their some of their transports. Oh, they're not highlighted blue. That's good. Oh, Steve's doing a cheeky move. Uh, Steve is actually quite a cheeky player. He will try something like this. Because there's there's no chance of them losing. Uh, when it gets to something like this then he will uh, be cheeky now Ben's still he's I think he's fighting two guys yeah he's fighting two guys over here uh, Steve has it a little bit easier on the right he's only fighting one. Oh, the Falsh and Jaeger are getting hammered by these guys They only lost three guys. They just wiped out all those Falsh from Jaegers. Of the four helicopters that made it across, two died before they could get anywhere. Uh, these two dropped off their troops here. Fortunately, that's just an MI-4T, so that has no rockets. However, this Sokol does. If he sees the Falsham Jaegers, they're dead. Or maybe they can ambush this T-72. Oh, they could have. Missed opportunity, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, too late. i turn that off because most people are talking rubbish. As you can see, Ben had it really hard in the centre. Uh, Steve had a little bit easy on the right hand side. Uh, yeah, he quit. These two were on the left. Kyle was on the right, fighting Steve. That's 12 minutes. Uh, that was a very, very quick victory.
for the boys. Uh, it's a very good game. I think if it had carried on for much longer, then Ben might have been pushed back a little bit further. Um, but Steve was pushing on the right-hand side, so he would have cut off their reinforcements to the right, which would have helped him. And so, well done, boys. That's it for now. Any comments or suggestions, leave below. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.